What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I love having this conversation. I really do enjoy talking about console, PC, the hardware, the software, the technology, and how they are comparables, and in many cases, some aspects of advantages that you can get, especially on the PC side. Now, I have the PS5 and the Series X consoles. I used to also be a big PS4 player, never really owned an Xbox. I always sold them because I couldn't figure out what I was doing with them until the series came out. And whenever we're having this conversation, there's always somebody on the console side that, to be very honest, I think they mean well, but their knowledge of PC technology is either outdated or maybe they're just not dialed in to what may be going on in terms of how the technology works and how you can pretty much customize your PC in very easy steps, by the way, to actually gain the convenience of a console. When I say easy steps, I'm talking, we're looking at four to five check boxes. Like you open a menu option and click enable or check a box and walk away. And when you do these things, you're able to create that same convenience. This audience member of Doc Dark's channel, Doc Dark 98195, shout out to you. I'm glad that you're opening this can of worms because this is exactly what I've been needing to basically try as much as possible to educate people out there who may be looking into coming into PC gaming for them to know that it's actually not a, you know, an intimidating platform. You can actually do it. So this person said to me, take a casual gamer who is not as deep as you or I. This is a fictitious person in this context. That's the very first thing I want to say. If you cannot click four check boxes that somebody shows you on a YouTube video or in a picture or whatever it is, then that's a fictitious person. That person is probably not even able to comment on a YouTube video, to be very honest. But let me just go ahead and grant this particular argument. Someone who doesn't spend their time, their bathroom time in comment sections like these or watches gaming podcasts, which is basically all of us, right? So all of us were basically in here. And even still, these videos are channeled to those people that you're making up because there won't be any reason for these videos if we all knew this stuff. It's because of people who don't know that the informational videos are there. Someone who just plays games without the tinge of gaming drama, a casual in every sense of the word, that can update their iPhones, by the way, that can do settings in terms of turning off location settings, connecting their phone to Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi, you know, basic technology capabilities that these people that you're talking about would know how to do that is in many cases more complex than actually checking a box on your PC. And so when I look at people that make these arguments and they start coming up with this so-called gamer that is a pleb that nobody can ever help with technology, I start laughing immediately because many of you realize I just made the video yesterday that with just four easy checkboxes, you can make your console boot and automatically update itself with basically doing all your Windows updates. You can turn on Windows updates. You can turn on driver updates for NVIDIA by checking this box, automatically download driver updates and let me choose when to install. Or you can follow Bethesda's guide on doing it from the AMD side. If I had an AMD GPU, uh, AMD Adrenaline software, and, you know, installed uh, and actually in, uh, installed on this computer, I would have shown you, but Bethesda.net, they actually have a description. And basically all you do is you come here, they put it in a red thing, you can click download, or you can set it to enable to automatically download your drivers. If this person that you're making up can connect their phone to Wi-Fi and type in a Wi-Fi code and click join network, or in some cases, trust a certificate because some Wi-Fi networks have security, then there is no way you can tell me that this person does not know how to actually engage in this particular technology and get the job done. I think it's just a fugazi. It's a fairy tale for people to come up with this excuse that there are some people who are not tech savvy enough to be able to operate these particular parameters. Now, in terms of maybe even doing Steam and making your you know game boot into Steam's big picture mode, which already lists your games, I will also go ahead and show you very simple. In a matter of seconds, you go to your settings, your Steam, you go to settings, you go to interface right here, and there you can basically say run Steam when my computer starts, you turn it on, and then you can also say it should go straight into big picture mode when the computer uh, also launches. So this says start Steam in big picture mode, and once you click this, you can say I want the first page to be my library, and immediately, once you boot your computer, it will take you straight to your games without any issues at all. You can also use your controller 
to basically fire up your PC with one more checkbox. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, checkbox number one, which is the Steam interface settings, checkbox number two, which is your Windows update, and checkbox number three, which is your GPU update, and checkbox number four, which is to use your controller to turn your PC on, you've basically replicated every single argument of the convenience that these console players are saying are not available on PC. Four checkboxes, I just showed you just now, basically how you would do them. So I can't imagine that this is actually a good argument because to me, this argument is trying to make a point that doesn't exist. Does that make sense? Because this particular person that you're talking about does not exist if they actually have a console because they can do settings and check boxes on their console. They can go in there and change their audio output. They can go there and change their HDMI resolution. They can check boxes back and forth on a PlayStation you know, interface, a UI, which is basically a computer or an Xbox interface and UI, which is basically, you know, a Windows PC, then they can't do it on a Windows computer because you said so. To me, this argument needs to basically be thrown out. However, I'll entertain the rest of the argument and read it so I don't get accused of not uh, <laughs> reading the entire argument in context. So take that individual and put them in a corn in a, uh, in a corny of a console, be it Switch, PS, or Xbox. Bro, the Switch is way more complicated for me to operate some days. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm like, man, where are these options? I'm scrolling around looking for stuff, you know, because it, 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 it's a different platform in a sense. But that's a different story. Take that, uh, that some casual and put them in front of a prefab PC. Of the two, which do you think the casual will get the hang of faster to get to gaming sooner with? The answer is simple. It's the console. That user can more than likely go to their computer and fire up a software like Photoshop and use Photoshop, which is way more complex than what I just showed you all. It's just a matter of knowledge. I said, some people just don't know. That's what we need to say because that person can basically look around and if they don't you know, know, they can just Google it. Like you act like, you know, we're in 19, you know, 22, where you don't have information at your fingertips that can actually help you do something. And honestly, to launch a game on a PC, it's basically launching an app. Did anybody not tell anybody that if you can launch Microsoft Word, you can launch a game? Did nobody say anything about that? Because I can see my game icons literally sitting on my desktop because most games will automatically create a desktop icon on there. So if I put this person in front of a PC and they sit there and look at it, they'll be seeing Alien Dark Descent. They'll be seeing Forspoken icons. They'll be seeing Street Fighter 6 beta icon. They'll be seeing Injustice 2 beta icon sitting right there. If the person cannot figure this out, then this person does not exist. Again, the argument is weak. And I love to cut these arguments and I have nothing against the, these people. I'm just saying like the argument is what I'm going after. Re ladies and gentlemen, let's realize that you can actually, you know, argue against an argument and not, you know, berate the person. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not berating anybody. I'm just arguing that their argument is one that's really weird. This person said consoles are literally made to be simpler, easier to use, more convenient way to play games. Consoles are made for casual gamers. They're made to be idiot proof. PCs are not. Lie. <laughs> In the last few years, PCs have started to follow the Mac you know, paradigm with the ease of use. Mac used to always be the computer that showed up that the manual was very easy to use. And PC, based on the way they've been setting things up, have always had that simplicity because the games on the PC follow the same setup as the games, as other apps, sorry, on the PC as well. Like I just showed you, if you go to the desktop, you will definitely see how this is a big lie. You see, for the longest time, people have let, you know, some console players just run with this messaging and not checked it very well. And I think it's very important that we're seeing Doc, you know, basically follow this thing. And Doc has not built a single computer, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Doc ain't built Jack Squat, which is even better, right? And so this person said, PC has a lot more moving parts. I don't just mean hardware when compared to console. The barrier for entry to PC for PC is just higher than it is for console in more ways than just price. My dude... They teach computers in every school. If you can use your phone, you can use a PC. It's just a matter of connecting the dots. And many people don't really know how to connect the dots. I'm a school teacher. I teach computers to middle school kids. When I want to teach them computers, I just bring somebody's phone and I sit there and say, this thing on your phone, this isn't on a computer. Everybody's light bulb starts turning on. Oh, ah, ooh. Because a lot of these kids these days, because they're mostly on phones, are not well versed in a computer. However, a computer is just as simple as their phones and they realize it 
and my work is done. But again, this is a fugazi. This is somebody who doesn't exist. This person that you're making up existeth not. It's ridiculous. Says this person, you're arguing that PCs are more convenient, simpler, and easier to use than console for gaming is ridiculous. No, it's not. Just showed you four checkboxes and you're there. It's as ridiculous as someone claiming that consoles have more utility than PC when it comes to gaming. Uh, no, it's not. PCs always, <laughs> that would be a much more ridiculous claim, seeing as that would be a lie. You're clearly capable enough to build your own PC, so I don't understand why you're having such a difficult time understanding this concept. Doc did not build a PC. This doc that we are actually citing his video, he bought this PC. He didn't build it. He went to Walmart and people were yelling, oh, how can you go to Walmart and buy a PC? And I was laughing at those people because as much as I'm a tech enthusiast, Walmart's actually one of the secret spots to get PC components that are discounted because everybody goes to Walmart to buy groceries. So hard drives, RAM and some other things that are PC, you know, uh, you know, geared they basically go on sale all the time because no one's buying them. So they get marked down all the time. And instead of me having to bother going to New York or Amazon, I just walk into Walmart and I'll buy a hard drive for basically half the price that you see it on the market. So, Doc, I commend you for actually going out there to buy a PC. Don't mind these people that are saying, oh, you bought a PC from Walmart. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. You get yourself a PC where you can get yourself a PC where you feel like getting yourself a PC. Now, yes, we could recommend, and I would have recommended that you build one, but it's okay. If you didn't want to deal with the stress of building one and you had the money to buy yourself a PC, hey, by all means, man, welcome to the club. So consoles are simpler, easier, and more convenient ways to play video games than PCs. That's not true. I think, this again, again, this is not true. This is just not true. This is literally the only things consoles have over PC when it comes to gaming. Consoles have never had anything over PC when it comes to gaming. We just need to establish that and we need to move on. Because these consoles, all they are doing these days it's basically trying to mimic exactly what a PC does. One minute, they're all consoles that are dedicated to playing video games, which are basically PCs using similar technology. Uh, you know, PlayStation literally uses a Unix-based operating system, which has existed on PC forever. So you're basically creating the entire paradigm to basically follow suit with what PC has established for the longest time. The Xbox console, since Xbox One, have been using a Windows-based operating system. <laughs> I don't even understand where this is coming from. In my opinion, they've only just simplified the user interface in a sense, just to ensure that it is basically skewed directly towards gaming. Whereas here on a PC, when you get your PC, a broad use machine, you now have to do the skewing yourself, which ladies and gentlemen, you install what is needed or you go check the boxes off if you please. And you're launched into that. In fact, you can put your GPU into your computer. You can even choose to not download the latest drivers or even download NVIDIA's user interface or AMD's user interface. And your games will still run. <laughs> they will still run if you choose to just use Windows default drivers. Now, yes, you may get some performance issues, but you can always go into your settings and just change that. That's the settings are the convenience because you could choose what you want. Convenience is designed to make things easy and useful, not just easy, but also useful for the end user. So I thought I'd make this video because I mean, and you know, I, I get excited when I, <laughs> when I talk about these things, it's very interesting because I love having this conversation. I've had this conversation many times, but I think now we need to build a library up so that, you know, it's just a matter of preference. No one's saying you're doing anything wrong. Again, I say this all the time, choose where you want to play, but don't make everybody else sound like, you know, they are you or they have the same inconveniences that you have. I'm just saying that anyone who thinks that these are inconveniences are too difficult. Here are the steps. If these four steps are difficult to you, then you have to reevaluate what other steps and other technology based, you know, scenarios have I accomplished that are more complex than these four checkboxes that this guy is showing in this video this morning. And if you've actually accomplished those four steps, then you now have to evaluate and say, actually, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. Talk to you all later. Peace out.